captured Asian elephants and their tricks. This industry thrives because foreign visitors all want to ride elephants or watch them do tricks, paying good money for the privilege. But the fact is those wild elephants need to be tamed before they can be ridden. Except the taming process in Southeast Asia is not the same as with wild horses. It's more brutal and is accomplished when the elephants are very young. Well, let's take a look at what's come to light just recently. Thailand, footage of a distressed baby elephant jabbed by bullhooks at a Thai camp to tame it before joining the tourist industry has been released by the conservationists in an appeal to end the practice. The footage, taken on a hidden camera last year, published Wednesday by the UK-based animal rights group World Animal Protection, WAP, shows what they say is the forced separation of a two-year-old female elephant from her mother. The distraught calf is confined to a small space known as the crush box and held by chains and ropes for days as she struggles to escape. Calves are repeatedly jabbed with bull hooks, a long rod with a sharpened metal tip to get them to understand basic commands, sometimes causing bleeding. About 3,000 domestic elephants work in Thailand tourist sector used for rides and performing tricks for travellers. Animal rights activists have long argued that elephants endure abuse in the tourism industry, starting with the so-called crush process to tame them when they're young. We need to ensure that this is the last generation of elephants used for commercial tourism. WAP has not released details of the location of the camp to avoid repercussions for the people who shot the video. Our demand is driving their suffering. Right now, tourism is on hold. And elephants are not being exploited for entertainment. Let's keep it that way. You can choose to change the world for the animals. Never visit elephant venues with performances or interactions and join the campaign to end global wildlife trade forever.